What's up everybody? I'm Jen from Valley Buzzsaw. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I took two chipped up, crusty, and messy melamine bureaus and turned them into these two very cool beach-inspired chalk painted bureaus that you see behind me. So if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. I acquired these bureaus from Ikea back in 2006 or 2007. At the time, they didn't have any hardware, so we ended up drilling that in a little bit later down the line. I kind of love how the silver looks, and it looks even better now. For this project, I used my Phillips head screwdriver to remove the hardware a medium grit sanding block to scuff up all of the surfaces, a microfiber tack cloth to remove all the dust and debris, standard petroleum jelly, and a brush I didn't care about to mask off areas I didn't want paint to adhere, a bucket with a lid to store any leftover paint. I also wanted to make sure that bucket had measuring guides on the side as well a standard kitchen measuring spoon, standard plaster of Paris, flat interior paint to mix with the plaster of Paris, a standard stir stick to mix it all up, various sizes of disposable chip brushes to apply the chalked paint, 600 grit sandpaper to smooth down in between surface coats, a foam brush to apply a top coat, and Modern Masters Decorative Painters Dead Flat Varnish. The first thing I do when I start any project is lay out a drop cloth. I did that this time with my canvas drop cloths. I love these because they'll absorb pretty much anything and as long as you don't step on it or lean on it, it's going to absorb into the canvas drop cloth and not end up all over your house. First thing I did after removing the hardware was grab my medium grit sanding block and start scuffing up the surface. After that I took my dry microfiber rag and just wiped everything down to remove the dust and debris. At this point, the surface was ready to put the petroleum jelly in the places where I did not want the paint to adhere, and then just get with mixing the paint. What's up everybody? I just kind of wanted to break in here really quick because I wanted to give you a brief little update of what's going on with these bureaus. Now, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but this bureau here is mine. This bureau here is Matt's. Um, I do believe that the camera is picking, picking up the distinct difference in the color between these two bureaus. I just want to talk really quick about this because this isn't due to the paint um, or the top coat. Um, I just want to make that very clear because this bureau is in tip-top shape, looks other than, you know, a few scars and things like, you know, crusty bits in here of stuff laid on top of it or whatever. It looks almost exactly like it did when I first painted it a few years ago. Also, the nightstands are looking like pretty much exactly the same as they did. This bureau, however, you can see the yellowing. Um, let me just tilt this tripod back up really quick, but... 
My guess on what's going on here is that over time, some of my makeup products that you can see back here and some of my hair products that are not out right now have impacted the finish in some way. I don't know if it's impacting the top coat or if it's seeped underneath and is directly impacting the paint itself, but some kind of products that I use that Matt does not use have definitely impacted the finish. I just wanted to kind of come in here and break in and let you guys know that because if this is a project you decide to take on yourself, you may be a girl or a boy who uses makeup and you want to use that on your bureau. So just a word of caution there. Um, it may not be a bad idea to use something like um, a self-adhesive clear contact paper on top, something that you can easily wipe off but won't allow any of that other you know, pigment and whatnot to seep into the paint or the top coat. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick brief on where things stand right now. And now let's get back to the video. If you guys want a full detailed tutorial on how I mix up my own chalk based paint using plaster of Paris, flat paint and some water, leave me a comment down below because I do have another finishing uh, video coming up in the near future. I've got some bookshelves and an entertainment center I'm planning on doing a chalk paint finish on so I'd be more than happy to throw that part of the tutorial in there but I need to know that you guys want to know how I do it so just make sure to leave me a comment and um, yeah hang tight for that next video. Thanks so much for watching! Any products, materials, and supplies that we used that are still available will be listed in the description box down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, that really helps us out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell, then set it to all so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Then head on over to valley-buzz.com for even more DIY home renovation projects. Now go get out there and take on a DIY project of your own! Later, warriors! No, I don't have earrings on yet. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's test this out. That's not too bad. What if I just go up a little teeny bit so you get my head? Yeah, that's much better. highlighter is popping today all right if you guys would like to see a detailed to, to no nope. that's better lighting Ooh, lighting 
change. Ooh. Okay, no, stop.